Today I flew my first Crossfire Mavlink via Wi-Fi ever, and uh, it was part of another little video I did, so I'm just going to use that video to make this point. I'll show you how I set it up, and tell you right now, it was uh, all of 30 feet but after it came down, I started checking everything for a different video. But I found that the Mavlink did stay 100% connected for the whole flight, which I was tickled about. So I thought I would share that I have made it work. The ground station is sitting here with Mission Planner connected via Wi-Fi. Mavlink is running through. I guess I could minimize this for right now, couldn't I? I'm just ready to click go. Uh, Mavlink is running. Sat count is eight. I'm ready to record. Not showing this too good. Sorry about that. Yep. Ready to record the flight camera and the ground station by clicking that button. So this is the mission planner data that was captured during that flight. And if you look at this link quality of the ground control, control station right here while I scrape through the two little flights, you'll see it never goes below 70 something, I think. 80s, coming back up. 88 there I think I saw there's a 90 80 60 got down to 60 58 there almost unusable but it didn't disconnect and it came back up now then this video is a little bit of a joke kind of because the fact is is this flight was Oh, I don't think it could have been more than 20 feet. You saw it. So from the platform to my radio was... I, it was a video just before this one that I actually got this in. And from my radio down to the notebook from the Wi-Fi was maybe twice that distance. It all stayed connected the whole time. The reason I say this is more or less a little joke is yeah, it almost came disconnected. <laughs> the link quality got down to 50%. Now that trans, uh, the receiver, transceiver, Crossfire Nano RX Pro is at middle power output on the telemetry. But this platform is going to be great and this is what I was going to try to do. I don't think you're going to have to move this platform far away before that link right there is going to go to zero. But this is my first ever test. I promised for the last two years I'd be testing this in every shape, form, and fashion. I've got regular Crossfire Nano RX's over there in airplanes. I've got RX Pro's over there. I've got an RX Pro on this. I've got Dragon Link. I've got CUAV radios. I've got... Uh, uh, MRO radios. I've got all sorts of different telemetry solutions to test because I want to find one that works permanently and get that one tucked away because I want telemetry so bad it isn't even funny. It's one of my biggest things. I'm an electronics engineer. We're the ones that made it up for NASA and stuff and all that telemetry back in the 60s. We want to see it. We want to see it work. It's it's our thing. <laughs> so I'm kind of obsessive about telemetry. But I thought I'd make this up as sort of a semi-little joke that I got Crossfire Mavlink via Wi-Fi to work on a Nano RX Pro. But the tongue-in-cheek here is it's like 20 feet at the most. I told you it's been working on my bench. Now I've got it working at a little longer distance. <laughs> but honest to God, I, I, I don't think it's going to work 
50 feet. Uh, I, I don't know. We'll see. I hope it works to five miles and I'll be finished. But that's not my... That's not what I've been told. People tell me I'll never get this to work, but I got it to work today to for 30 feet. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you.